playing the new song and on top of the new song. It's a different new song. Okay. Every day it's new. All right, let's do this thing. What you got? So we're going to start off with a soldering iron. This is a basic soldering iron. It's really a good one for people who are just beginning. It's low cost, but it's very powerful. It has adjustable temperature control, which is cool. And you can change out the tips. They are compatible with Hacko style tips, um, which is just like a, a fitting style. Um, most soldering irons that are this inexpensive, you can't change the tips out or um, the tips are like not good quality. This is a really, really nice quality portable iron. It's great for putting in your toolbox. You can adjust the temperature up and down. You can calibrate oh, yeah. it. Um, it's got a nice grounded plug. It's an excellent quality soldering station. It doesn't come with like the full, you know, calibrated station with the feedback temperature, but you know what? For a lot of people, this will do, you know, an excellent job for what they want to do. Yep. Next up, we've got many different sizes of these print Z plates. Yeah, so these are print in Z plates and they are um, not like permanent I mean they're they're meant you can replace them but they're plates that you put on top of the bed of your 3d printer and yeah. we've got one for like we're I think that's the flash for we're selling is, tiny monoliths folks and this is the LT maker and this is the m3d so for the three printers that we're currently carrying we can of course cut these down if you want yeah. and um, this material is adhesive and you can scrape it so you can remove your prints and you can touch it to gain um, tool using powers. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's, you got this adhesive on the back. When you're done with you know, when you really, really scrape it to death, you can remove it. But this way you don't have to worry about like painter's tape or hairspray or other techniques. And the Print and Z folks are coming out with some really amazing 3D printing accessories. They're, they're maybe wise to not get into the 3D printer market Instead, they're getting into the 3D printer accessory market. Yeah. Attempt no landing here. Europa is ours. Okay. Um, you know, it's a really good book. I just recommend it. So I liked it. Yeah. 3001. Oops, you know, yeah. I didn't read any of the, um, the 2001. I, the idea of the firstborn that made the model list was pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Entropy, right? Is that yeah. the entropy one? Okay. Well, sort of. Okay. It's all about entropy. Okay, anyways, uh, flexi plates, great for your 3D printers and for going to um, a moon of Jupiter. Yeah. Okay. Next up. Um, we're so excited. Look at this. Bing, 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 Yeah, bing, I already bing, mentioned bing, this, bing, but bing, I, bing, I can't bing, help. Bing. But say it, it twice. Yes, I want to say it again. Okay. Okay. In. Bing, 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 all the okay. things. So we got, we're making these, we make these. We make these and we have actually not been able to fulfill our stock and everybody else's stock. And yeah. uh, we're, we were willing to make sure everybody else got theirs. Yeah. And now we have enough to put in store. So we now have the Arduino starter kit. This is kitted by us. Uh, I actually did a slight revisit of um, the contents of the box to make sure that all the products that are in here are good quality. Do you want me to open this up? I don't know. It's your show. I mean, I don't see why not, Delidiata. but I need to bring a, I need uh, to get a little razor blade. Oh, no, actually, do I? Yeah, I do. Hold you on. do? All right. Yeah, one second. That was the last time I saw you. All right. No, no, no. I'll be I gotta watch out for dead air. You're not supposed to do that in the biz. Okay. Well, there's Tony's jacket again. It's a cool members only okay. jacket. All right. All right, okay, we're back. So Everything's okay. It yeah, wasn't, I'm just going to... it wasn't dead air. Open this carefully. Okay, so it's, you know, as you said, it's open source, it's got like lovely stripes. So you get this like 180 page book, which uh, covers all the projects and has all the code in it. So you're pretty much ready to rock out of the box. And inside there's also a lovely kit of parts. So you get uh, breadboard and jumper wires. So this is a kit with jumper wires and a solderless breadboard. Very lovely. So that's nice. Yeah. Okay. So you don't even have to cut wires. The wires are already cut for you. Uh, you get a USB cable. So this, this is a USB cable. I don't think it's worth showing. This is an LCD. So this is a soldered white and blue LCD, which is a really great way to just have little um, messages printed out. 
You have a DC motor and a servo motor, so two different types of mechatronics. The DC motor has a gear on it. The servo is a nice servo that comes with a bunch of um, plastic horn attachments. So that's that. You get a full bag of electronic components, all sorts of LEDs, buttons, sensors, um, tilt switches, header, whatever you want is all in here. You get a mounting board and also parts to make a, um, some of the projects. And of course you get a genuine Arduino, also made by us and in this really awesome packaging. So this is, yeah. you know, you're rocking out here if you're, if you're getting this kit. Yeah, I, I also think this is a uh, moment in time where Adafruit is making Arduinos. Our goal is one day to see Arduino um, get past and prevail in all of the kind of fake Arduinos that are currently mm -hmm. out there. And so I'd like to see them manufacturing um, with us forever. I'd also like to see the manufacturing yeah, nice Arduinos um, in the U.S. with a you know a full-on Arduino factory from Arduino. And you know this one is one made by Adafruit right now, and so um, it's neat. I think it's one of the best ways to get started in electronics. Full color book. Um, it's cool. It is. It, you know this is this is how a lot of people can start their journey on electronics. So. Anyways, okay. it's a great neat. starter kit. It's neat. Everything about it's neat. It's a good gift. Yeah. And it's also good for students, maybe and who are starting out. The Arduino folks are very specific about how things uh, look and feel and all the yeah. different parts. I mean, just everything about it. Yeah, there's it. like this special ink yeah. that, that's the magne that's um, bronze ink. Yeah. Do you know what a, <laughs> what a pain bronze it was to get? Bronze ink is tough. Yeah. yeah. It's really neat. It has made in USA. Yeah. And like, I don't know. I just like everything. They, oh, I got distracted. What? No, I, I brought it over here. It's cool. So. No, like you can't help yourself. It's so yeah. cool looking, and it's got this like really funky new. Um, yeah, they have the new style. branding and stuff like that. Anyways, okay. it is neat. Is what so I'm trying to say. So that's also okay. it's not new, but it's back in it's stock, and it's been out of stock for over a year, I think. Yeah. So it's good to have it back. Yep. Okay, we have an update, additional version. Uh, yes. The Pi Top, it is a gray one. Because sometimes you don't want to roll in with the bright green Raspberry Pi laptop. You may want to roll in with the gray Raspberry Pi yes, laptop. Yes, I also left in. this one over here. So. I'm alone and abandoned. You are not alone. I'm exactly right here. This is exactly like third grade. Okay. Sorry. I'm right by your side. Um, so this is the gray version. Uh, that This is the green one that we assembled. We didn't want to like assemble two because we don't need two Raspberry Pi laptops. But if you go to the overhead, I can just show it off really fast. Mm -hmm. So this is a DIY laptop. If you want to build your own laptop, you can do so. Let me just make sure it will. That totally did not work out. If you want to know all the things that are going on inside your computer, this is a way to do it. Okay, so you get this like really big screen. It's like a 13 or 12 inch screen. You get um, all the components to put together. This little piece comes out. You got a Raspberry Pi 3 in here, which has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, HDMI, USB, has all these USB ports, uh, it has a tablet, it's a keyboard, it's got a little tab, um, it's got this hub with all the power management and uh, looks like it also does like the L HDMI to LVDS conversion, um, power, yeah, all sorts of stuff. It's all managed by this board. And you put it together, but it's not too difficult. There's no soldering involved. It's just kind of plugging in some parts, snapping together. There's a little power button here. And um, it's basically like a laptop that you build. I mean, you're not going to get a MacBook Air, but you will build something that you can say a you made yourself. A lot people don't want a MacBook Air. No, they want a they Raspberry Pi laptop. Yeah, they don't want that. I just want to set expectations. If you're like, oh, it doesn't run, you know, I don't know, Steam. Macromedia Flash. It doesn't run Macromedia Flash, for example. Okay. But neither does Apple MacBooks. Neither does anybody anymore. Okay. All right, so here you go. So we have the gray version. Yeah. So next up. This is a new deal. We are now shipping a free Ting SIM card. Ting said, hey, let's give away some free SIM cards. And we're like, yeah, but Ting only works in the US. And so we're going to give it away with the 3G 
module. So unless you're a reseller, you will have the option when you purchase this to select a version that comes with a SIM really? card. Really? Yes. In the U.S., you can get a free one? Um, if you're buying the U.S. version yeah. of the Yeah, U.S. Thing. version, and you can say, I want one of these. Yeah, you just get it, you just select it in the drop-down, and you will get a free SIM card that works quite well with our 3G modules or even 2G modules. Hot dog. Does anyone ever say that like as a, like, yay, you, like did. you said huzzah. Huzzah. Hot dog. Okay. That's good. That's a good well, deal. Oh gosh darn it. Yeah. All right. So we got that going on. Yeah. All right. And the start of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, is all these blinky things. And that's why. This is kind of scary. This is like a weird, they're coming for us. The blinkies. Yeah. Um, this is okay. a composite of all of uh, the new Featherwing. So we've added um, seven segment hexadecimal alphanumeric segment. And yeah. now we have these eight by 16 LED matrix segment Featherwings. So if you would like to add 128 LEDs to your feather, this is a good thing to check out. Okay. So do you want to talk about yeah. all the different ways? So each one, each kit comes with one of these feather boards and it has the Holtec HT uh, 16K33 LED matrix driver, which can drive up to 120 LEDs, which is exactly how many we have here. It is I2C controlled. It does all the multiplexing for you. We have a library that works great. So you just say, turn on this LED, turn on that LED, print this text, and it just does it. And it works over I2C, so only two pins are used. It works with every one of our feathers. Isn't it amazing? Yes. Um, and uh, this is the bare this is the bare PCB which you, we also sell, but chances are you would want to get it um, not just the circuit board but with some LED matrices. Well, we do that. We offer it with all the different colors. So, for example, um, it comes like this. You solder the matrix on, and you've got you know basically the next thing, which is an assembled feather wing. Wow, mm. with these LEDs on it. Yeah. It is cool. And this is the white one, which has yellowish yeah. phosphor. And then, you know, just to show that we mean business. This is serious business. This is a little animation that I think James made. So just showing all the colors. And you can even see a little bit of the flicker of the multiplexing. You don't see that when you look at it, but the camera picked it up. The bright white, we have yellow. Yeah. And um, blue, pure green, and then we have yellow green. One of the things I like about how we and then red. take photos of products is we show them in action and use. Mm -hmm. I hate it when there's LED stuff and you don't see it lit up in yeah. any way. Like what do you, you don't know what How do you know what's going on? Yeah. And like, you know, we make it even more complicated for ourselves. We do live demos. Yes. So this is, um, this is that feather wing. I should use this assembled version. And um, once you solder it together, you can plug it onto your feather. This is like a feather 32U4. Works with all of them though. It's a cross platform library, and I just can't line up these headers. And then um, this one is running this demo code, which shows you scrolling text, for example. Hello, world. It's a little, just a demo showing it's the text. It's super bright, and, and it's very blue, even over you know, yeah, it's all hard these crazy it's, cameras. It's quite have. blue, so this is the, you know, the blue version, and then we also have um, See what this color is. This is green. So the pure green is the brightest. It's incredibly bright. Yeah. And you can dim the whole display. You can say, oh, I have 16 levels of dim brightness, and you can set it to a dimmer um, effect. But it's great if you just want to make a small scrolling display. I mean, this is quite small, but it's very visible. So we have OLED and seven segment, which is a little less expensive because it's fewer LEDs and also maybe yeah. more visible. But if you want to have scrolling text or like a little graph, this um, feather would work quite well for you. Yeah. Pro tip for anyone out there who has to do um, live electronic show every week. The hover cam that we use is really good. Using it in HDMI mode is way better, the refresh, mm -hmm. and how it actually operates with Wirecast. It's like, yeah. it's, you know who's no, interesting? It's interesting out. to Tony D and Noah and Pedro. Yeah. But anyways. This is the Hovercam Ultra 8. Yeah. The was, it's the, a very low cost uh, camera. Well, camera yeah, it's not, it, it certainly isn't the cheapest, but it's definitely not the most expensive. But it's not like but a thousand dollars. The USB but interface to, yeah. isn't as good as the HDMI interface when you also use the image uh, 
So you're using... No, we uh, don't. We, yeah, be the careful. Ma the mage yeah, well. the, the mage well. Yeah, you use the mage well. With yeah, it. it's all a contraption, actually. I don't know how it all works some days, but you want anyway. you show the mage well? No, no, because if you move it around, we'll I'll probably break it. No, it'll, you'll, have, you'll, have, you'll have to fix it, engineer. It was the last product, <laughs> You know what's though. fun is uh, Lady Ada can fix anything, so like, you can just break anything. And like, all right, I'll fix it. That's not true. I broke my Kindle once, and I couldn't fix it. I thought you did. No. You weren't able to fix it? I was it the really try. old Kindle, though? It was the first one, yeah. Oh, okay. Super old. Yeah. It wasn't even worth fixing. It was like fixing. 10 years old. And yeah. it was like that. I don't think they're supposed to even last that long. Well, they didn't even have a replacement display. The yeah. replacement display was the same cost as a new one. So with that, Lady Ada, guess what? That was new products. Yay. You did it. Congratulations. Ooh.